All right, so we got a bit of a massacre going on here. Let's remedy this. Finally put together the Plastic Man, one of the weirdest characters on the Justice League or the Justice League of America, if you prefer. Uh, he's pretty much like Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four. He just is really stretchy. So you would think the figure will be very, very articulated. Actually, you know, I'm noticing... He doesn't have any articulation at all in his arms. I guess it's just, you know, they just decided to go with the long, stretchy type. So, got this arm right here. We'll go ahead and throw on the same side leg. Nice. Yeah, this is pretty much what he looks like. He's just wearing underwear. He's a weird dude. Get this leg on there, like that. Feels uh, always a little bit awkward when you're putting together these Build-A-Figures. But yeah, there you have it, and then we'll get this arm. The arms always go in nice and easy. It's usually the legs that are issues. And we've got the regular head, but we're all powered up. I mean, come on, we might as well just throw on the wild, stretchy head. So there he is. So a very strange figure. You can have him hanging from something. Very weird. So, of course, you could put him on one of these if you like. He might be one that falls over due to his weird proportions. Or you could put him on a flight stand like this. These are nice. But they don't work super well for McFarlane figures always because they're bigger, right? These work better for like Marvel Legends or Figure Arts or something like that. So we'll probably put that to the side. You could put him on one of the DC flight stands if you want to get him in a really cool sort of action-y pose. But for now, we'll just kind of go like this. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to kind of put him in the background there and let's just raise the camera just a little bit nice now there's not much I can do for articulation right so the head moves around I mean what more can you want from that I guess but you can definitely tell there's there's some wild gaps here in the arms he does have the butterflies but you know they don't really do much and then the legs look pretty awful. That's rough. You'd have to get him in a pretty specific sort of pose to not show off all that weird inner thigh articulation there. You could tell if I try to lean him back, you get a lot of... It's almost like the underwear should have been just maybe a little bit bigger to cover up some of the spots there. It's a choice, I guess. Now, normally, he will sacrifice articulation for sculpting, but this time he kind of went the opposite, where he made it small so you could maybe articulate it more, but I guess it is Plastic Man, so looks like there's a little black spot here on his neck. It's probably just something I can take off easily. And yeah, the fingers are a little strange because they're not articulated, they're just kind of stuck in this weird position. So, definitely a cool figure to have on the shelf. I don't know how well it was executed, really. But, of course, we had to get Superman for a piece of the Build-A-Figure. I could swap in so many different kinds of Superman figures, but for now, we'll just use that one because it's the one that came with the Wave, right? Same for Batman. I could swap in so many different Batman figures, but I really, really like this one. This is probably my favorite figure from the whole wave. Of course, I'm a huge Batman freak, but I didn't have a yellow symbol sort of JLA style Batman. And yeah, this I mean, what can you say? The figure's awesome.
So we'll stick Batman back here. And finally, we got the Green Lantern. So, of course, you could swap in the Kyle Rayner or the Hal Jordan. But since this one's the one that came with the wave, of course, we're just going to stick with Jon Stewart, Green Lantern. So we'll put him over here. We got Batman, of course, in the very back, of course. And, yeah, so I didn't buy Aquaman because he just comes with the regular arms for Plastic Man. So it just seemed a little odd to buy Aquaman just to get the regular arms when, of course, most people are just going to want to use the powered-up arms. If you don't have an Aquaman, hey, I get it. It's a really cool figure, but I already have this one, and I'm perfectly happy with this Aquaman. He doesn't have the hook on his arm, but I prefer the bearded, long-haired Aquaman. I think that makes more sense. I know some people would prefer the maybe the long hair without the beard or the short hair without the beard. I like this look. I think it makes him look like a you know, an Atlantean king. When I think of a king, I think of like Odin, you know, like with a beard. So anyway, this is actually not the first Plastic Man figure from McFarlane. I have the other Plastic Man, and it is this guy right here. Yeah, technically this is the Plastic Man. It is the guitar that came with the death metal Batman yeah this is actually Plastic Man so just a super cool accessory slash figure yeah can you tell red yellow it's got the Plastic Man colors and a lot of people didn't notice that it is actually Plastic Man there's his face right there Plastic Man's really cool in the death metal comics so anyway set that to the side but I don't see a lot of people pointing that out. Who else are you going to add to the Justice League? Well, specifically the JLA, I would think of Green Arrow. So this is, I think this is maybe the Injustice Green Arrow, but it just, it's the one I have, and it's, you know, one of my favorite ones. So I went ahead and stuck with this one. Had him in a kind of a pose, like he's sliding, shooting his arrows. So I wish he would have come with like a single arrow instead of just the quiver of arrows, but that's all right. I got it where it kind of looks like he's grabbing them. So you might also think of a very, very key member of the Justice League, the Flash. Just like with Batman, Superman, I've got a lot of Flash figures. I've got maybe like four so I could put any of them in here, but this is my personal favorite. It is the Flashpoint Flash, where he's unmasked. I just think that's such a cool look, and I love the head sculpt of this Barry Allen. So, got the Flash over here. Got Dr. Fate, another classic DC hero from the JLA if you like. Also got very, very powerful, some say the most powerful maybe, besides Superman, Martian Manhunter. Gotta add him to the team. Gotta have the alien. So I'm running out of room here, as you can tell. So we'll put Green Arrow just very slightly poking up there. And we'll move in the Martian Manhunter. That's not going to work. He's too tall because I've got him on this flight stand. I got one more here that I think goes perfectly with the team. And it is, let's move Green Arrow out of the way. It is Hawkman. This is such a cool figure. He looks awesome. I'm going to grab the phone off of the stand here so we can get a bit of a closer look here. So you could tell I've got a little bit of a Justice League setup going on. So 
Martian Manhunter, Flash, Aquaman, Superman, Batman, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, and Dr. Fate, Hawkman, just kind of round out the team. I just think that Hawkman is a very cool figure. You could put him on a flight stand, of course. I just kind of have him like this for now. These stands are very sturdy, so they hold up these big, top-heavy figures like that. You could tell I've got Dr. Fate on a little foot stand, which I don't use very often. But he's fallen over a couple times, so you can see some of my Star Wars figures in the back there. Yeah, man, that's the team. So I'm going to throw them up on the shelf and make a really cool display with the new figures. I'll probably put away that Superman and just display a normal Superman, you know. But yeah, I'm really happy with the wave. Very cool. If I see Aquaman for just really, really cheap, I'll pick him up because it is a cool figure. But for now, totally happy with this. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. See y'all in the next one.